In this lecture, we're going to talk about a classic cinematographic, cinematographic, a cinematography shot, which is the over the shoulder shot. It's used most when shooting dialogue between two people. And what it involves is looking over the shoulder of the listener at the person speaking to them. And then as dialogue changes, you look over the other person's shoulder into the new speaker's face. So let's dig in and I'm going to show you how to implement this in Create Studio. First, this is typically used, the over the shoulder shot, to shoot dialogue between two characters. So the over the shoulder shot shows the back shoulder of the character listening and a full face shot of the speaker. You can combine this technique with close-ups and far away shots to add camera angle spice to your animation. So let's look at what I'm talking about. Here's a still frame of an old over the shoulder shot. Sh over the shoulder shot. We're looking over the shoulder of the teacher 3D character at, what is it, Tom 3D character. So this adds interest because you can see the listener, but you're actually focusing in on the speaker. And then as the dialogue changes, you go over Tom's shoulder and look at the teacher. Now let's look at the requirements for setting up an over the shoulder shot. First, not all characters include talking actions. I don't really know why this should be a common action and everybody should support it, but not all characters do. So you need to find characters that support talking actions. Not all characters include shots from behind. The behind shots are typically of characters typing at a computer, but since all you need is the shoulder and part of the head, you can cut out the computer screen and the desk and all of that and the chair and get an over the shoulder shot of that character. So select two appropriate characters. They have to support talk actions and they have to provide shots from behind so you can get the over the shoulder to implement these shots. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump over to Create Studio and show you how to do this in that product. Here we are in Create Studio and I've set up a nice garden scene. Now, the two characters that I'm going to use for this, let's go to Studio Home and I'll pick characters and I like the 3D characters. I think they, are, they're, they may be the only characters that satisfy the requirements for these shots. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in the teacher for the over the shoulder shot. And then I'm going to bring in, what is he, the ordinary business guy? Where's the boring business guy? There he is, old business guy. I guess he's old because he has gray hair. So these are the two characters that we're going to have. We're going to zoom way in on them. But first, let's take the teacher and replace the action for the teacher, which is idle, with working on PC. And this will be a behind shot. So there you can see we've got a nice shot of her from behind. Now if I zoom out a little and I really grow this, I want this to really be quite large and move it so the PC is just barely off the screen and maybe her head is a half shot. Let's make her even bigger. So you just see the shoulder and her head and she's listening and then we'll come to old teacher guy and we'll replace his action. He's actually, this is good because they've got He's got two types of speak. He's got talking and talking, another variation. So we'll have him talking. And we'll zoom him way in and move him down here so he's in the scene. Now, working at the computer, we're going to actually add multiples of this because he talks for a while. So let's come here and we'll add action working at computer on PC and another one working on PC and we'll get in yet another one add as many as the of these as you need to fill out the talking action of the other character or for as long as you want the talking action to go as we saw in my course you can truncate talking actions and we probably need one more 
Now she may jump around a little bit as she is, um, let's do one more, as she's typing, hopefully not too much. There we go. So we shorten that up and we can shorten up the background and go to fit to screen. And now we've got an over the shoulder shot of, a of talking going on. Let's play this and see what it looks like. Oh, she's nodding her head. That's actually kind of nice. And then when that gets done, you cut to the other side. So let's, let's cut to the other side. Let's actually make this garden scene go out for quite a while. And we will add teacher again. And then we will add the um, old business guy again. I just love that. Now we'll take the old business guy and we'll replace his idle action with working on PC back. Oh, that's front. Working on PC back. There we go. And we want to flip that left to right. So he's over on this side and we'll zoom out and we'll make him very large. Whoops, didn't want to move that. And we'll bring him down. Well, we've got to make him quite a bit larger, don't we? We got to get rid of that chair and the PC. And then maybe we'll move him over a little bit like this. You know, I'd make him a little bit larger. And there's the over the shoulder for him. And then we go to the teacher and we change the action from idle to talking. And that's once again, fairly long. So let's take the working on the PC. Actually, we'll just do that. And we'll add working on the PC from the back. And we'll add one more. From the back. There we go. And we can shorten that up to match here. And we can shorten that up. The background. And now let's bring the teacher in very close. Zoom her way in and bring her down here so she's talking. And let's play that. Actually, let's grow the full screen. Fit to screen. So now she's responding. And he's actually nodding his head. Yeah, yeah, I understand what you're saying. Let's look at the full scene. So we did a hard cut from one scene to another, and I think that's fine. So. Carol, I'm not sure if we can meet anymore. I may have fallen in love with another woman. What? What are you saying to me? I can't believe this. How can he be saying this? And then what we might add is just a close-up. Let's duplicate the woman. Oh, I just duplicated the businessman. Didn't want that. Let's duplicate the teacher and bring her out here and bring this scene out here to line up with her. And then we'll, we'll shoot in on a close-up of the teacher. Why is it not selecting the teacher? Oh, huh, well, selected her anyway. Oh, it was selecting the teacher. I just didn't see the outline because it was so large. Okay, and here we bring the teacher in and let's really zoom in on her face for a dramatic shot. And let's just see this from the very beginning.
Blah, 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 Carol. Blah, blah, blah. Can't you see? It's so obvious. Well, actually, it's not that obvious, because all what you're saying is blah, 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 blah. What is blah, 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 blah supposed to mean anyway? It means nothing to me. <laughs> so there you go. We've got several camera angles. We've cut from them with hard cuts to make dramatic moves. And the over-the-shoulder shot is just great for two people having dialogue. So that was it, the classic over-the-shoulder shot. So let's look at a summary. Select two characters that support talk actions and typing at the computer from behind. Position the characters for the over-the-shot uh, shoulder viewing, and then swap angles as the speakers change. You can also include close-ups and far-away shots to spice up your dialogue scene. So there you go. That's how to shoot dialogue in Create Studio. In the next lecture, we're going to look at parallax backgrounds, a technique pioneered by Walt Disney in shooting cartoons to have things in the foreground of backgrounds move faster than the things in the background of backgrounds so they look very 3D. You'll understand once I show you. I'll see you in that lecture.